Bluebells of Scotland, this is definitely one that uh, needs the most work. Um, no surprise there, but um, it's also the last one I'm doing today just because the rotation has gotten to the final one. I, I would start with this one most of the time, but again, I want to make sure I get uh, enough time on those pieces uh, before I have shot my face. So, this will be probably not as pretty as it will be tomorrow, but um, <laughs> still going to do it. So, Bluebells of Scotland. Um, we're going to, again, just start at the beginning for this one. Okay. That's the opening statement. It's got to be there. Uh, I like, actually, now that I, I'm thinking about it, that I've played all those other things first, because uh, I don't feel that great lip-wise, and I want to know that I can still do it if my lips feel like this, because they very well might. I'll be rehearsing with all of these groups sometimes twice before the concerts, uh, doing a dress rehearsal. It's a lot of playing, um, and I'll try to take it easy, but you never know. You might come up on stage and you've just kind of blown your face off, so um, it's kind of interesting to, to try that and not do it in a mindset which, which is like, yeah, but my lips hurt, so it'll be better in the concert, because they might hurt in the concert. So. That's the first one. I, I did miss one of those octave jumps. Okay, uh, it's, it's a partial acrobatics, I might call them. Uh, that A lot of this stuff is just gimmicky. Uh, it's like, look what I can do. Uh, so you gotta do it. whole next section I can do, uh, so I'm not going to worry about it right now until I do a full run of it. <laughs> um, this one has been giving me a little bit trouble, which is new. Yeah, see how the parcels aren't lining up there? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to slow that one down and see what's going on. So, one and two, uh, you just gotta make sure you know where you are. If I start and just kind of let the slide do a kind of one two thing, ba da da ba da, ba da da ba da. So, I don't know if you know. The G should be in a sharp second position, so it looks like I'm just kind of doing this thing lazily, but it's not. I mean, it is lazily done, but it sounds right. So one, two, two, one. F, of course, is in a lowered first position. So those are kind. Those are all just kind of this ambiguous. And at this speed, you just put them right in there in the slot. <laughs> So that's one interpretation of it. Uh, now I'm going to try a much more staccato interpretation of it, which is uh, how this piece is played often. It's it's kind of more showy, ta -ta 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 -ta. Uh, kind of more regal that way. Uh, and that kind of shows that like, ha, I'm hitting all the partials. See, uh, so that's a, that's a good way to uh, do it. Okay, so that's how I've heard it a million times. Uh, I would like to do it better than that. Uh, I want to make sure that if you heard every single one of the notes I played on top of each other, it would be this gorgeous um, chord. Right now it's this sprawled out arpeggio. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I want to pretend that if you just lined up all those notes that I played, um, it would just ring out and be this arpeggio. Because in a concert hall, all those notes are going to be going out and bouncing off the walls, uh, and it really will make that chord uh, out there. You won't hear it, probably, but they will. So, you can't just kind of go, because that won't sound good. 
Okay, so. That's what we want every time. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so I really feel like my lips are starting to feel it on this one. Um, so I might cool it, but let me try it a couple more times. Ah, so I, I, I missed a partial uh, the same way twice. Uh, if you ever do that, hopefully you notice it uh, and you can start to assess the situation. So. I believe is what I was doing. I could be wrong, but that's definitely the one I was missing, so. So the, the big jump is from the G to the C, and a lot of times I was probably going to an A to a C and kind of splitting the difference. So I gotta make sure I keep that G down where it is. Ah, see? There it is. So that's one I gotta really pay attention to because it's a it's a habit of mine, I see. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that one alone for now. Uh, I'll start with this one again tomorrow, like I said. Okay, so I kind of got all the notes. I, I cracked one there at the end. I think I want to do this one again more staccato. And then it really kind of shows that the parcels aren't really lining up. So uh, I got to be careful. Yeah, because now I'm missing notes, uh, or they're not sounding anyway. Um, and it's because my lips aren't doing what the slide's doing, or something is, is mixing up. Yeah, so I think we found where my max is, and so we're gonna go a little bit below that, and uh, I set the tempo so I can I can do it as long as it sounds good. Everybody's gonna love it. <laughs> first one was one of the better times I played it, second one, uh, again, nobody's going to be offended by it, but I know that uh, the triplet at the end was not there. So I really don't want that C to be like, <clears throat> brash when it comes out. Okay, that was kind of nice. So should I tongue it? Should I not? These are the decisions. I'm struggling to talk. That's what I'm doing. Uh, these are the decisions that I have to make right now. Take it a dome, maybe. Take it a dome. Take it a dome. Or maybe just let it. Da ta. Uh, I really only have to tongue that one. So if I didn't, it would sound like this. So all the other ones happen automatically. But I, I hear a difference in articulation. It sounds like that's what I'm doing. So maybe I'll maybe I'll tongue it because it kind of sounds nice. But I think uh, I think I'll kind of do something in between. Yeah. That's the one I like. Ta ta ha ha. Ta 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 ha. Ta 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 ha. Okay. So, that's what I'll do. Keep that one. Uh, and then it does a little cadenza thing. It does a pretty thing. That's something I would do with the, the buzzing machine there. And then we go to the first movement. First variation. 
Pull out the metronome. Don't do it without it. You'll regret it. Okay, turn on eighth notes. And we're going to 118. This is on the fast side, but uh, I like it. Okay. One thing I miss consistently, C to A. So this is something that I have to practice this week. Uh, this will go into my daily warm-up because it's a bigger problem than it needs to be. Um, in context, out of context, it's a problem. So it has nothing to do with the speed or the tempo or the music. Uh, it's just a problem that with my technique. So. <laughs> That's going to be what I'm going to be working on this week, because uh, it sounds awful, and I don't even think I could do it right for you guys today. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Uh, I'll probably do... Yeah, right? I mean, it's hard, so I don't feel bad about myself, or my self-confidence is not going down because I can't play that. However. This is telling, right? So um, when you find something like that, don't shy away. I mean, I, I could, and if it really isn't working, I could tongue it. It'll be fine. You know, nobody would care or know if I tongued it. It would sound fine. Uh, however, this is a crutch. So I want to really learn it. This week, that's one, going to be one of the main things I focus on, whatever that, that interval is. Uh, minor sixth, maybe. Um, so, um, I will do that all up and down the, this, this uh, slides. So, third position to second, that partial. So I guess it would also work... Uh, <laughs> So that's going to be my exercise. I'll, I'll do that and just get it so <laughs> I do it right more than I do it wrong. That might be a good goal. Uh, okay, so let's move on. Okay, this one's been giving me trouble for a while, uh, so I have been working on it, but... Okay, so it's a hit or miss still, so that one's gonna keep in my, my uh, warm-up routine. Um, just because it's, it's better, but it's not quite there yet. Okay, so now I know the two biggest problems with this movement. It's not the tempo, it's not the articulation, it's not the uh, intonation, it's not the notes. It's uh, maybe that is a good one because it happens throughout the whole piece. So I'll keep that in there. I'll do that uh, C to A, up and down the horn, and then that octave scale down. Three things that I need to work on in that movement. Next one. Uh, I'm still working this one up to tempo, so I'm sure the people who are performing with me or hired me to come play loves that I'm still working it up to tempo right now, but I promise it will be there by next week. <laughs> Okay. 
So, a couple things uh, that stood out to me as like a big problem, uh, a couple things that are little problems. Uh, I will have to iron out both of those things before I move the tempo up. Um, this is a funny one, uh, these last two movements, because there are breath problems that you have to ignore um, because you're in moving the tempo up a little bit um, and you have to realize that you're not going to have to take so many breaths. So keep that in mind. Uh, but biggest one I have here is... really happening is my slide isn't lining up and my lips aren't moving fast enough. So uh, this is one that uh, I am still working up. This is going in the morning routine. Okay, so we get that. A lot of people do this one out of time, which I can do. Again, nobody's going to worry, but... That's how pretty much everybody does it. However, I would like to do it better than that. So, uh, that's going to be the main thing I work on there. Maybe some articulation stuff. Then I'm going to beef up the tempo. Uh, cadenza, I'm doing something special. Uh, and now we go to the last movement. And right now I'm working this one up at 116. talked about. I was running out of breath. That's many of the reasons why I was struggling with some of those ends of the phrases stuff. Uh, you kind of have to ignore that. Take a breath somewhere else the next time so you make sure that you're not leaning on a crutch there. But there are a couple things, three things in this one that are like, whoa, like you can't play that yet. So, uh, that C to C is really giving me some trouble. So, that's going to be one C to C. If that one comes out, the rest of the phrase is very easy. The next one, I think it was a little bit of a breath thing, but it has been giving me trouble. Yeah, see? So that's going to be a big one that's in my routine. So that one's a big one. I gotta be able to do that on short breath. Because uh, that's at the end of that whole phrase. And the last one is another surprise octave. So, same thing. Before I can speed up the tempo, I have to iron out those three things. Um, since my lips are hurting and the camera has three minutes left, uh, that will be where I end it for today. Um, also, this video is probably going to be like an hour and a half long, so uh, I'm just going to let it be. Uh, I think you guys uh, who are interested enough in it will watch the whole thing, um, and who aren't, well, you would have turned it off by now, and that's fine too. So, um, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something. Um, about how I practice things. Uh, it's very helpful to only look at the spots that uh, are problems uh, and then if you kind of get to a spot where it's getting better, do what I just did here which is run through it uh, and then stop after each small section and pick out three tops, three or four things that, that really need to get better before, like things that are holding you back I guess. Uh, and be very honest with yourself about it. Um, Another great thing to do is to record yourself and listen back. That's very telling. Uh, I just did that, so I'm going to listen back in here. Uh, a lot of things that I did not hear uh, just by doing it now. So that's helpful too. Um, trying to wrap this up. Uh, thank you to Con Selmer. I'm not going to charge the Patreon patrons for this. I didn't do anything, but uh, Con Selmer.
Bach 42 trombone, um, this will be going with me to Seattle. So, uh, thanks again. I hit subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button to show me you made it all the end of this video. Actually, hit the like button because I would love to know how many people made it to the end of this one. Uh, and comment if this was helpful, if you want me to do more of these. Uh, it's helpful for me to break up um, having to do a new video every week. So, see you guys next time.